you all are very well aware. Um, it's uh, basically tied to the, 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 the issue of what makes a social organization or social system, however you want to call it, to function or to survive. There's a lot of talk about the collapse of EU and uh, there's even a, recently been a, an article on the topic that EU is going the same way as Yugoslavia. And uh, so the question is, why is that? And what can this project uh, bring to the table in order to, well, this is maybe I'm too ambitious, but maybe we're too ambitious. But for me, this, this, are, this is the key, uh, key uh, issue. And uh, the, the, the things that are really important and why I see why people do not follow rules because they don't, feed, uh, they don't feel that the rules are to their benefits and uh, they, they, they don't see the, 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 the system to be legit because it alienates them uh, or uh, because it, it basically what uh, I would argue is uh, that the system is uh, uh, causing the uh, total defeat of human subjecti subjectivity. I think that <laughs> In this reification, alienation, commodification, and I think that European Union uh, is seen as something that is quite uh, uh, alienated from people and that there are a lot of these forces that are pulling it uh, apart. And uh, I think that it's not only the problem of EU law, but what was said before, that there are national forces which uh, I would not say misuse the EU regulation, but there is something that is, uh, 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 how should I say, uh, yeah, misused. So, okay. Uh, but we would all agree, and this is basically what we, are, we will try to do, that all this knowledge that will undoubtedly be gathered by all the efforts, uh, what was discussed before, there will be a lot of activities, but uh, of course, the, the proposal is clear that this is of limited value if it's, uh, the knowledge that is gathered is not brought to life. What do I mean uh, uh, that the, 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 this knowledge should be, I will for, forget that I have this thing. Uh, what does it mean to, to bring the, 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 the project uh, to life? Uh, this is what I would argue is the most important thing in order for this knowledge not to be alienated from the, from the community. And of course, it has to do what uh, 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 Work Package 4 is about, creating policy measures. I think we have to propose uh, specific policy measures. And this is very <laughs> important in this, re in this, in this <laughs> regard, bringing the knowledge that will be gathered, uh, that it will become a, a living matter. Of course, the, 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 the next part is, which will be discussed after me, dissemination of results. And not only that, not only results, but all activities. And of course, the, the capacity building, which is uh, related uh, to uh, rising awareness and also uh, trying to uh, inform policymakers and also to gather, uh, gather information from policymakers what they see as the biggest uh, obstacles, problems, and so on. So we have to make uh, uh, this knowledge relevant, usable, and visible. Uh, and uh, relevant for me is uh, addressing the issues that are really uh, of the core importance in uh, for human uh, or European survival, let's say it like that. And for me, a good example uh, recently was that uh, everybody was amazed that the European Commission is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing, and this is finding companies who are destroying common good. I'm talking about Apple. So when European Commission find Apple, everybody, the, 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 the Ireland doesn't want that money. 
and everybody was uh, 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 surprised that this decision was actually accepted, which for me is just an indication of how far we came. Because the, the, this ruling is actually the, the only thing that the European Commission should do, and this is protect public interest, not the private interest, which is nothing, it's nothing wrong with the private interest, but the EU is here, and not only EU, of course, the, the, the policy makers in general, to, to protect public good, common good. And that we are surprised that actually a, 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 a policy makers are doing that is a good indication how far uh, we came. And of course, uh, or we didn't came. Uh, so, uh, the relevance of uh, this uh, knowledge is for me of the prime importance and of course discussing before the, the topics, I think that uh, the, the question of taxes, although I do appreciate what uh, Adnan has selected from the, for, for the case, I think that the issue of uh, unleveling playing field, which is, you know, it, it's, it's impossible to argue that we live in a market economy if there is someone who is playing by completely different rules than the majority of small businesses, etc. So this tax evasion, and of course this is again why people use these practices then, it's of course for the same reason, everybody is doing it. Someone yesterday said that this is then becomes a, uh, it's, it's not part of the culture, but maybe uh, Peja will help me. What was the, 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 the way of how things are done? Operating procedure. So we are, everybody stands the procedure, everybody is doing it, but we are all uh, pushing ourselves to the bottom, I would say. And uh, this is relevance. I think that we should really focus relevance and we will try to build this capacity. Uh, well, it's, it's one thing that we should, uh, we should uh, be focused when uh, creating policy measures. A relevance for people, not for uh, yeah. Well, uh, the main task to do this is uh, not only uh, what I said before, but building a bridge between two worlds, uh, research and policy makers, which I think is often the case that we have a lot of project, a lot of data, a lot of everything, but this somehow uh, evades the not only policy makers, but even uh, uh, the, the public doesn't know that all this knowledge exists, and this is something which I think is the biggest uh, issue. So, building this bridge between research and policy, I would say this is what uh, we would try to do inside of this capacity building or work package five. Um, so, how 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 would how is this building a bridge possible by uh, building capacity and? Uh, I would say that, uh, that our agenda uh, will be building a strength in communication and this is only possible if you gain trust. So how do you gain trust? Uh, of course, again, by establishing relevance and importance of the project. So uh, we will try and I will do the, the, a more practical view of this, how this will be done. It's described in the proposal also with workshops on the national level and the, uh, having talks with uh, national representatives and European representatives. But we have to uh, follow the idea of relevance and relevance for realization of human potential, not to alienate people more by rules because I think that this is a, what I said before, it's, it's, a, it's a core importance at least for me. So uh, establishing relevance and importance of the project, I think the, 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 the idea of inform is really good and it tackles a lot of issues that are uh, the, the core of uh, survival of not only European Union but what will be uh, uh, what could, could be seen the survival of the social system regardless of European Union or national countries. So uh, by listening and gathering suggestions from policymakers, this will be done uh, with uh, both on national and European level and uh, by building and presenting policy measures upon gathered data. So this is the strong point that we will have a lot of data and that we will uh, uh, produce policy measures. So again, this is what makes a project relevant, uh, visible and sensible to those who are financing it and also for people and so on. So this is, I would say, uh, the agenda. Uh, 
uh, of uh, this package which is uh, related to building capacity uh, and all this raises awareness I would argue and of course when you raise awareness then you can communicate if someone is not aware then you cannot communicate about it so uh, this is uh, the, the, the agenda how to uh, uh, make this project policy relevant and uh, okay there are three uh, steps uh, first step is that uh, our team will prepare a toolkit and guidelines for these consultant workshops which and in, inside of this we will try to follow the, the, the arguments that were uh, proposed earlier uh, so we will try to, to build on uh, the issue of relevance and of course uh, uh, also presenting the, 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 the relevance and the importance of data and the knowledge that will be gathered and uh, in order to communicate the, 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 all this to the, uh, the national and European level. So first we will, uh, and we, were, we are short in time, uh, there are some but the issues but uh, I think we are beyond that and uh, so this is, will be the first step of how this engagement will be operationalized. Uh, the second step will be consultant workshops with the, both uh, DG Nears, so with the uh, European representatives uh, uh, that are uh, responsible for enlargement and national representatives. So uh, there are three workshops in Brussels and two rounds of national workshops uh, in every country. Uh, well, where basically the first round will be related to presenting the project and informing policymakers about the relevance and what we will do and gathering suggestions from them uh, and the next one uh, it will be about uh, discussing initial empirical findings when it comes for uh, the second workshop in Brussels and of course the last one will be uh, presenting and discussing final findings with policy recommendations. So uh, again, this is the the agenda for the uh, Brussels meetings, and this is why I think it's very important to come up with policy recommendations and also to gather uh, information what they would uh, uh, they would see as important that what should be uh, um, incorporated in the. Project. So it's good actually that we are having this first meeting in Brussels so early so we can still incorporate some things into the project itself. Uh, and of course the, 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 the two rounds of national workshops will follow the same logic, uh, although there are, because there are six, six uh, uh, workshops in every country, there will be 12 workshops, uh, so there are only two rounds, not three, which is uh, understandable since um, uh, it will uh, demand a lot of work but uh, this year this is the, the, the uh, this is the uh, during related to deliverables which have to be done and this is the first step and the second the first step of the uh, second step has to be done by the end of this year and the, the last step will be the joint conference in Slovenia uh, which will be announced in the late uh, 2017 where we will try to gather all these uh, representatives in one spot and discuss findings and, uh, of course, uh, listening how uh, these uh, policy measures could be implemented and uh, this will be further uh, elaborated later on because uh, for now we don't know what the findings are and it's really hard to uh, uh, work out the details. So uh, this is uh, uh, how we uh, envisaged uh, the capacity building and policy agenda. But I'm really, I would really like to hear uh, your comments and suggestions. Uh, what uh, you would think that it's important to, to bring to these uh, meetings, workshops. Uh,